What's going on guys? Today we've got a very exciting video. We've got the all new Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S. So we've got the colorway Aurora Blue and we've got the six gig RAM version with 128 gigabytes of storage. This is a dual SIM model as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this phone can do. So I'm just gonna jump straight into unboxing it. So here we go. As you can tell, this is brand new to us. We literally only just got this in, so I haven't even had a look yet, but I know some of the specs are extremely high. So let's slide this out. Here we go. Now, I'm not too sure why the color on the box isn't Aurora Blue, but I've seen other phones do that before, so I'm not too concerned. You've got this sort of protective layer. If I pull this up, inside this layer, you've got your SIM card tray ejector. You've got a phone case, you've got your user guide and this little warranty notice as well. So that's just normal with most phones, you get that. I do like how the case is wrapped in a protective film to sort of protect the case that will then protect your phone. That's a little bit strange, but there's the phone itself. I'm just gonna move this for now, just so we can work our way through the box first. More dividers here. We've got another bit of divider. And then you've got your charging brick. This is a 22.5 watt charging brick. And then you've got your charging cable. Now this is USB type C. And that is everything inside the box. Now there isn't any headphones or anything, so not sure why, but all you get is a charger brick and a USB type C cable. Now the main event, the Redmi Note 9S itself. On the front of this little protective sleeve, you can see some of the specs that it's boasting. You've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G processor. You've also got a 48 megapixel AI quad camera and a 16 megapixel front in display camera. The phone display size is six and a half, well, is 6.67 inches and it's a FHD plus dot display with a side mounted fingerprint scanner. So that's here. And one of the most impressive features is that 5,020 milliamp hour battery. That is insane. That's a ginormous battery for a phone that is super, super, super thick. So we'll take this off for now so we can have a better look at the phone. The most satisfying part is always peeling this little cover off. Oof, there we go, the phone itself. Now, as I said, we've got the Aurora blue one here and this color is absolutely stunning. You can just see the different types of blue just jotting off it. It's an absolutely stunning color and it's extremely shiny. I can see myself, it's almost chrome, but like a blue chrome. You see that quad camera and it's centered, so I already like it because I'm a big fan of symmetrical things. 48 megapixel AI camera, and then on the front, you've got that 16 megapixel in display camera. So both very high quality. You'll be having super crisp selfies. On the outside of the phone, you've got that finger slash thumbprint scanner on the side, but your volume knocker. And then on this side, you've got your SIM card tray. On the bottom, you've got a headphone jack, USB type C port, and a speaker here. On the top of the phone, you also have a speaker as well for your all your calls. So yeah, that's about it. I know this phone is a dual SIM, so let's power this bad boy on. So you can see that this runs on Android 10 and MIUI 11. Setup complete, you're ready to rock, it says. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this phone looks like on the actual display. This phone looks incredible. It's extremely modern. I mean, the back of the phone is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but I mean, that's something you can just live with, especially the fact that I would definitely be putting a case on this. I went with this classic display option. There are other options you can choose so that your actual home screen looks slightly different. Again, the other color options are an Instellar Gray that we have on ePhones.com. This phone is already live, so you can buy this right now on, on ePhones.com for 22499. That'll be linked in the description right away. But yeah, this phone is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. The only criticism I have of this phone is the fact that it has a in-display sort of polka dot camera, and I just think it's a little bit too far down. When I, you can see it when I open sort of Google and things like that. If I sort of get a white background you can see that it's a little bit far down and I can imagine I haven't yet used it 
but I can imagine if I'm watching Netflix or watching YouTube, it is gonna be a little bit in the way. As I've said in previous videos, I'm just not a very big fan of in-display cameras or cameras that take up any screen anyway. I'm a bigger fan of how the Honor 9X or the Huawei P Smart Z do, where they pop out the top. I don't know, I just believe that adds a little bit of character to a phone and I think it frees up a lot of room. The front face is screen and I just think it looks a lot cleaner overall. That is probably from straight out of box perspective the only criticism I have of this phone. The display goes right to the edges, it looks like a well coloured display, the colour of the phone is stunning, it is symmetrical so it fits all that for me. It's got a really fast reacting thumbprint scanner on the side, literally instant, open straight away. I can sort of adjust my grip and it still manages to get through it. I haven't connected this to Wi-Fi or tried it on any apps yet, so I will be doing that in the next video, my week review of the 9S. But yeah, first impressions, this phone looks great and it's hard to disagree that this phone isn't stunning. It's got this metal out frame, beautiful blue glass on the back, great camera and an incredible processor. Looking forward to spending a week with this phone and giving you my honest week review. So if you wanna see that, that'll be linked in the description if you're watching this a week after this is uploaded. If not, stay tuned and it'll be uploaded a week later on our second channel, eFhones TV. So make sure you check out that channel as well and make sure to subscribe there. But as a first unboxing, first impression, this phone, a solid nine and a half out of 10 for me. I do like Xiaomi, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but this phone is looking pretty good so far. As I said, I will be trying out this camera this week and I'll be trying a little bit of gaming and I'll report back to you next week on how this phone handles it. We will show off a little bit of the gaming, the video and the pictures it takes next week when we upload the video. So if you want to see that, make sure you check it out. It'll be linked in the description below. But thanks for watching this video, guys. This is just my first impression. As I said, 9.5 out of 10 very solid phone. Make sure to comment any questions you got and make sure to like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.